Hello once again, Nerds and Nerdettes of the Nintendo Universe Studio here back, and before I get this video started, I do want to give a huge shout out to Nino the Chosen on YouTube. They've been doing an an amazing job of keeping me updated with not only Ninjala as a game, but Ninjala content as a whole, and they do have their own YouTube channel covering Ninjala news. So if you guys want to keep up with Ninjala more consistently than I am, go check them out. But don't worry, I will still be covering Ninjala content on my channel if that's what you prefer. I'm just saying, maybe give his channel a little peek. But anyways, outside of that, I'm a couple days late to this news, but I'll still gladly cover it. Uh, Ninjala just released an application, or I should say Gunko released an application on the Switch today called Ninjala Exclusive Ninja Club, and that's basically Ninjala's version of the test fire. So for those who were around er, in the early Splatoon 2 and early ARMS days, you guys know that those games launched with a test fire before their launch, where you were able to play the games a bit during like specific times. Uh, just to try out like basic online multiplayer functions and it was great. It was an amazing way to test how the online will work in those games and I definitely feel like they learned because the test fire didn't have the greatest online but now Splatoon 2 runs smoothly on a mobile hotspot. <laughs> but anyways, going back into Ninjala, it does seem like timing is going to be a bit more strict with the schedule that Nintendo has given us. And that is April 28th, 2020 from noon to 1 p.m. Then we have another test fire schedule at April 28th, later that day, from 9 to 10 p.m. And then we have one more, April 29th, 2020, from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. Now these timings do seem a bit, maybe a little bit obscure, and it is, like I said, very strict. It's one hour each with a total of three hours. However, don't worry, they did say that the schedule is subject to change, so let's hope that Gunko will open up the time frame, maybe give us like not one hour, maybe stretch it to like three each, and then maybe give us not one segment, but two segments on April 29th. So therefore we have an early and a late schedule on April 28th, and an early and a late time on April 29th. Um, and they do just say that the app will just feature um, basic online battles that we'll get to play. I'm not sure if we'll be having both team and uh, battle royale, but I assume we're just going to be having Battle Royale. And they do also say to keep note that you won't be able to transfer any save data from the demo to the full version of the game. There are a few games that did this and Ninjala is just specifying, hey, it's not going to be one of those games. Which is a bit sad, but I mean, I'll take what I can get, honestly. <laughs> Um, but anyways, that's all the news we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do want to stay more updated with Ninjala, please do click that subscribe button below. Uh, tell me what you guys think of this Ninjala, um, this Ninjala test fire that's coming out. I'm going to do my best to try and stream it next week. Usually I do try to keep my streams exclusive to the weekend, but I'm going to go ahead and just make it a midweek stream just to see what the game is like and how it's changed from the E3 demo that I played a like two years back um i think it'll be fun uh but anyways thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video until then nerdio is out